It's 25 minutes past 8 o'clock. If you're new to this station today, we have a guest. So the adults of the day are you who's listening, the shy mistress, I, the Duchess of Ecolomani, and a lady who's an author by the name of Felgona Oyuga. How are you, darling? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Salama sana. Thank you for honoring us and making time to show up and come here. <laughs> thank you so much. So, this is not a rumor. Mm. I hear you are an author mm -hmm. of a very beautiful book. Karig, what's the name of this book? How to Enjoy a Relationship with an African Man. That's the name of your book? Yes. Now, my darling, let's just get into this particular book. Yes. Why did you write this book? What inspired you write, uh, to write this book? Um, of course, as a woman. Yes. <laughs> I want to enjoy a relationship with an African man. Yes. And uh, all the... Um, Had you dated a white man, a white man no, for no, you to write this no, book? No, no, no. I've, 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 been black all through okay <laughs> african all yes through, yeah. yes um but uh you know we were given relationship advice yes mostly by uh by our mothers our aunts our know, older sisters older sisters and the relationship i mean the advice didn't make sense to me yes. you know the advice was always oh um the man is the first born that that's your first born hey. and i'm like hey my friend i don't want to inherit somebody's grown-up child yes. <laughs> the next one was like oh you know you everything you do you must do you must make him happy make him happy in bed make him happy in the kitchen make him happy everywhere so everything was do do for him, mm -hmm. him there was him. yeah him 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 there was no point of this is for you now this is mm -hmm. what you can do for yourself so i said you know what there must be a way we can enjoy this relationship but mm -hmm. putting myself mm. first and you know for an african woman that is a difficult thing to tell her and for her to understand even for me to get to that point where i say i matter you know i've come into this relationship regardless of you having another grown-up baby and other baby i don't even want a baby <laughs> let's put it there let's mm. start there i don't want this baby mm -hmm. i want a grown-up i want um a partner a partner yes yeah. so how do i go about looking for this partner because i must understand myself for me to be able to understand this other person and even choose this person so yeah. you see even one of the uh topics in the book is choosing your poison stroke man <laughs> now oh. before we get to one of the topics i want to start with the first one of mm. what you discuss mm. forget everything you've heard about romance mm. it doesn't apply here mm. are you implying that the african man is not romantic i'm implying that there is no fairy tale there is no f you know we grew up on fairy tales yeah, yeah i don't know how old you how adult you people are <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at fourth floor i'm looking at fourth floor like this like this like okay this. so as we already said the yeah, generation of mills and boone yes thank yes. you mm. we did mills and boone nancy drew mm. then we had um r and b yeah, yeah. kelly yeah. sydney sheldon you know we yeah. had all the romance all the music you know the soundtrack to mm -hmm. to the mm -hmm. books you know yes so we grew up expecting um romance fairy tale and then it didn't come but the problem with expecting it is you still hope mm -hmm. even when things are not working yes you're still hoping that so you're holding on so you hold on too long for things that are not even there so we are saying there's no romance here there's you no honestly fairy don't tale. think the african man no, is romantic no no even uh, even for us as african women we are not these are things we borrowed from somewhere do you know there's someone <laughs> there's out there who believes their man is romantic and i i wish they would stop doing that he, maybe that's his life his love language yes. which we understand and we accept you know because there's there's that person who will bring you flowers mm. i don't know why we decided bringing flowers is romantic and bringing you a um, is not romantic it's i so know romantic. <laughs> you know yeah romantic yeah. yeah but for many people they'll be like it's food yeah okay, maybe it's the lui and me <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> yeah yeah but you see for very many people mm -hmm. um very many women you hear them complaining at your even last time i was taken to dinner at her text i can me you know that type of thing but then she forgets that uh, you're living somewhere he's paying uh, that's i mean that is romantic i'd rather that than, <laughs> than, yeah. than so the flowers you're telling you know. us to maybe lower our standards or no. be real with ourselves accept his love language understand his love language yeah okay. don't expect yeah. Fairy don't set it up for him because we read it in mills and boone that the guy came with yellow flowers and then swept her off her feet and they had lunch in paris and a picnic and then a picnic yeah. under a bridge yeah. imagine no this guy might be that guy who says i let me take this guy's boozy, uh, some uh, peas and carrots and yeah. cabbages. Yeah. I used I to have a boyfriend who used to call Minji Minji because he used to bring <laughs> <laughs> But that, But that was his <laughs> love language because he was like, if you're eating, 
you know i'm happy <laughs> no but that's amazing and mm. i like that analogy because mm. when we talk about love languages now and hear me out because mm. i'm dating mm -hmm. i'm looking i'm searching i'm in yes. that pool yes of i pray to god if it's an african man it's not a kikuyu man <laughs> So, the boss and the beer be that in the And they are the best. Ah, ah, yes. 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 Guys, uh, guys uh, I know my people. Ask me after this, I'll give no, you some But I know, I know, I know, I know. By the way, I've never met a non romantic human. Mm -hmm. Social media lies. No, because also they know their weakness, so they, they overcompensate. So, I when think many people have spoken about it so much, so they're yeah. trying. So, mm -hmm. when it comes to the love language, I want to understand. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't he love me the way I want to be loved and mm -hmm. love him the way he wants to be loved? But mm -hmm. then you're saying probably his love language mm -hmm. is ensuring that Karigo always has Waru's in the house because mm -hmm. I know she loves your, chips. You have food. Bus. You know, yes, I, yes. and she loves chips. Mm -hmm. So even if she's how broke, as long as there are Waru's, I know she'll not starve. And oil. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I know mm. she'll not starve. Mm -hmm. But how do I learn to also teach him my love language mm -hmm. because he's feeding my he's feeding his love language yes. to me mm -hmm. i see it i appreciate it and remember we talked about this mm -hmm. yes i see it i appreciate it but how do i in tune him to also understand mm -hmm. that there's another way i want to be loved mm -hmm. so it, there's there's different ways to look at it first i'd want to see where is that coming from? Are yes. you being real with yourself when you're saying, I want fresh flowers every day and, and, and baked goods, I don't know from where, and things like that. Mm. Are you, is it you or is it social media or your friends influencing you? So when you get or over that, I just love sweet yes, yeah, so yeah, croissants. yeah. So when you get over that and you have agreed, this is me, I am a sweet tooth, blah blah blah. I'm a sweet tooth, for example. So yeah. I love, you know, chocolate cake, I'll be there. So now they say also teach people how to treat you. Yes. Mm. So I can't be asking for flowers and he's never seen flowers in my house. Oh, you understand? Yeah. Yes. So because if I come to your home, I will know what it is that you like. I'll mm -hmm. reach there and be like, oh, you like the color orange. Mm -hmm. You know, so you are teaching me because of the, what you have surrounded yourself. Yeah. My environment needs to yes. speak for itself. Exactly. So if I love flowers, there's always flowers in my house. So he comes to my house, he'll find flowers. You know, he comes to my office, he'll see some two flowers. Those who know me know that there's always chocolate in my bag mm. uh, and or I'm looking for chocolate somewhere or cake somewhere. So if you I'm annoyed or I'm, yeah, if I'm going through something, they'll just be like, we know chocolate makes her happy. Mm. Yeah. So they will, they will bring that. So it's, it doesn't have to be that push and pull of, you know, uh, I, uh, be romantic, buy me flowers, be whatever. There's another person who you'll go to her place and you'll find her with um, different teas. They will be there arranging yeah. tea bags and whatever. Mm. So even hey, you... Hibiscus, come on, my <laughs> name yes, is. Yeah. So even you, not even as her boyfriend, I mean, uh, it's a... Partner. Uh, yeah, partner mm. or, you know, a romantic relationship. Even as a friend. You know. You know this person. Mm. So those are the things now we should... What we are basically saying is let's, let's be grown up about things. Let's... It's not what does... Carigo want. I mean, I see her boyfriend bringing her flowers. So now I've decided that's the measure. Mm. You guys, <laughs> this is what I want. This mm. is whatever. Maybe I like records. Mm. Would you say the music? African woman has set up herself for a failure mm. when it comes to matters of romance? Based on what you're saying and your book mm -hmm. is like the African man is not romantic. That's what you've put across. And we need to be real with ourselves. So some of these things that we've seen and I see people proposing on streets doing dances mm -hmm. you know like they go over yeah. is it because is the are the men doing this because it's in them or they're doing it just to show off or, uh, or to impress or to impress because a carigo somewhere has always been hinting about that so first um I'm not saying African men are not romantic. Okay. Romance. Honey, you wrote, rom forget everything you've heard, read about them. <laughs> romance. It, uh, yeah. That romance that you have read, it doesn't, it doesn't exist. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's what you're telling yes, me. Yes, yeah. it doesn't yeah. exist. That yeah. fairy tale that it. you have, whatever. I get it. We said, understand his love language. So that is romance in itself. Yeah. If you, re you are really looking for a word for it, because yeah. for me, I just say this is somebody who's, um, uh, have, uh, has understood me and I've understood. Because basically what you are doing is going out of your way to make this person happy. So if once somebody is doing that, then it's romance. Mm. Yeah? So the African woman has set herself 
in a space that doesn't exist. Mm. It's not natural to us. Mm. Um, maybe now uh, the younger generation might understand what's going on. Maybe they are seeing us, you know, with the somebody being, as you're saying, those street proposals and whatever. Maybe it will become natural to them. But it wasn't. In our but it time. wasn't it's to not, us. It's still not. Yes. In, you know, in fact, like where I'm from, uh, traditionally, if you, you liked a girl, you kidnapped her and then you went with her. Yes. <laughs> that was the marriage proposal. Mm. Yes. And you locked oh. her in the home and then sent somebody to her home and to and tell said, the people yeah. we have your girl so how can it was we, a private uh, arrangement yes what do we do here mm. you understand but what we took wholesale and what we didn't sit down to figure out was hollywood needed to sell yeah <laughs> so they came out with the with the good marketing they strategy. Set a standard yes it was good marketing i don't even think they were doing all those things they're telling <laughs> us they, were, they are doing you know mm. <laughs> who had that time to propose to you from i don't know where people don't have time yeah. you do want to do this thing or you don't want yeah. and, it's, and it's not cheap <laughs> yeah and it's not cheap you yeah. know so now when you start setting, setting some standards for like a guy who came to nairobi the first time to go to campo <laughs> <laughs> you don't know, even know. understand what you're talking about so you're stressing this guy and in turn stressing yourself <laughs> you know we need to get over some things and and find out what is really important i like you know, that Ghana yeah. or yoga is saying like can that. women can we start being real with ourselves she's an author and the conversation we're having today with her is how to enjoy a relationship with an african man some of you have been complaining these people are like this they are like that today we want to just go slow by slow step by step mm -hmm. and give you just a snippet of this particular book so that yeah you'll go and look for it but of course we're going to get some gems of her 0719012600 is the number to call if you have any questions at the top of the hour we'll give you a chance for that but of course you know you can opine on the conversation through our social media handles spice fmke on instagram facebook and twitter we are the adults in the room More of the timeless and greatest hits you love. Make some noise. 94.4 Spice FM, Nairobi. How to enjoy a relationship with an African man. Some of you are putting standards to this African man, and that's why maybe you, you are crying, you're suffering. And yes, I see some of you have called, allow us to pick up those calls at the top of the hour. Mm. Now, you have a table of contents, and we'll be going through it. Karigo, you have a question for this lady? Uh, number three of the table of your contents mm. is a bit... I'm like, yo, what does this <laughs> even mean? He's polygamous until proven promiscuous. Yes. Yani, there's so no the African, else. So the African man is... Uh, Unfaithful. Two things. He's polygamous or he's promiscuous. There's no exception. The, none. It, For real? There are some who are in the closet. <laughs> but you know oh. that closet, when you go six foot... That's six when it's feet, sorry, six feet under. Yeah. The Carigos and the Babras show up. when they come up and start singing, yeah, uh, he was my father, he paid my fees, I, I, I talked to him. him, yes, at that time, we don't, you can't even ask for DNA, it's mm. same to same, yes. <laughs> you know, so, he's promiscuous or he's polygamous. Um, we, we need to get over ourselves, just get over it. Breathe in, breathe out. Release <laughs> Is that a bit unfair? No, no, I don't think so. Um, Why? So I should always know the man that marries me, I know there will be other women. Yes. Liwe Liwalu. Yes, maybe he's at the same time. He's polygamous or promiscuous. If yes. he's hiding his polygamy, polygamy uh, pol Filgona says he's going to be promiscuous. Mm. Is that what so, you say? No, I'm saying this. Um, he's polygamous or until he's promiscuous. Pro until proven yes. promiscuous. So, so, by the time you're marrying him, no. He's polygamous. He's polygamous. Liwe Liwalu. The answer is that you will have a co-wife, sister wife. Whatever it is you want to call <laughs> that lady, <laughs> you understand. Then now is when you decide if he's promiscuous. Not really decide is when he shows you if he's promiscuous. So a promiscuous man will be, of course, one very um, irresponsible. You know, so he's just jumping from one to the next. It's for fun, for two minutes, for whatever, for, thrills. for thrill. Yeah, he can't afford these women, but he's there pangaring them. He's busy telling all women, "I want you to have my baby. I want to, you know, I don't know yeah. where these babies are being taken." Like babies. <laughs> you know, yeah, where there's a group taken of Kenyan to? men who love babies. It, it's so irritating. Mm. Yeah? We are not breeding to things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, see, that's, yeah, yeah that's, that's another thing. Yeah, <laughs> that's another. That. One, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so all of them are those now that's the promiscuous kind. He doesn't want to introduce you to anybody you have for Vichochoros, you know, those type you're always hiding somewhere and 
it, it's that you feel dirty. You mm. can feel it. Then there's a polygamous man who will say, okay, um, you guys don't have to like each other. But you are there. So if you are on fire, you let me know. I'll be at so-and-so's. You know, Gary and if house. you are on fire, you let me know. I'll be at so-and-so. You don't have to like each other. Children will be treated the same. If it is school, they will go to school. If it is city council, we can afford that's what we are doing. If it's this, if it's that, names they'll be given. People will know. Some you know, are given the same names. Some are given the same names. But you see, it's better to ag accept now. I know of really? women. Really, gonna. It's really better Maybe to me accept. I'm struggling. You know, I have just struggled. Get, if you want to live your life and enjoy yourself, because at the end of the day, what I'm also trying to tell women is, you can't control another human being's behavior yeah you can't control what another human being wants to do even your child you know you have until five years then after that utam chapa yes but the, their mind is already made up after yeah. five years old you know so another you cannot one told me today they want to get sick because they don't do a french <laughs> exam <laughs> I just laughed at me and had that conversation. You know, yeah. So you see, now you can threaten. But yeah. you know, you also that threatening has like a threshold. Yeah. You reach a point where there's nothing you can do completely. Mm. You just pray that those five years you did whatever it is that you had to do. But Felgona, you're making uh, us think. Mm. And I, I'm thinking that you are advocating for us just to give up. It's that, not giving that up. That we should just accept their polygamous. And it is okay. And the fact that you're saying there's a carigo and I'll be at Barbara's mm. meaning that you're okay about it. First I'll ask this question. Mm. Would you accept to be in a polygamous relationship? Yes. In fact, I think my first marriage might have survived if every, I could... I, I think I accepted at some point out of defeat. But then there was a matter to promiscuous you know, things going on. So and he, I was like, it was this what? statement, polygamous until proven. I mean, poly polygamous, until, yes. Until proven, promiscuous. Yes. So the proven part is what was. Yes. It, after we proved this is actually a promiscuous man, but, uh -huh. then I was like, you know what? Cheers, there's diseases, there's what? Yeah. I'm young, I have these young children. Yeah. I'm not trying to leave them early. Thank you. Yeah. So if blessing. he brought someone else, you would not have a problem. Yes. And it's open where we say, then we don't have to like each other. You know, that's the other thing people forget. They think now when you bring somebody else, we're going to be very good friends. We don't have to be good Sister friends. wives. We don't have to be. Just know that so-and-so is there and so-and-so is here. You know. So okay. I'm not even saying give up. We are up. coexisting. Yes. Give up. Give up means we were fighting. What are you fighting for? Mm. You know, it takes a lot of humility mm. to know that whatever you do is not about me. It's about you. It's about you. So. That's a lot it, of freedom. Yeah. So there's nothing I can do. This is what I'm trying to tell women. Nani. You, you, you see women. Ma these churches, maombi, yes. These churches are full of those women. <laughs> Today I was at my casalon lady and mm. she has a kandini. She watches a certain pastor my friend you know we watch it from morning yes then there's time now for prayer requests i know that the microphone just goes around yes it reaches a woman 99 percent and she's a young girl you're like nani go and live life imagine because free yourself and that's what i was telling you that romance also gives you hope and that hope is very dangerous because you'll find yourself for 28 years. Niko kwa maombi, niko kwa madebao. In fact, you know, my Kiswahili is bad, but I learned it today. Because they have been told. What is that? It's altar. Altar. Oh. <laughs> so they are on the altar. Umenda milimani. Some yes. people even go to climb the mountain. I'm telling you. Umenda milimani. You know. So you can imagine. You are stop laughing at this women. You pray until you are, you are like 55. You have been praying for a, one man. And you he can hasn't imagine. Changed. He hasn't changed. <laughs> then at 55, he comes back when Some he has diabetes, what about those arthritis. <laughs> and then he wants you to take care of him. And, and then now you are going to say, yeah, praise God, this man I've prayed for. No, you have wasted your life for 35 years. Because you made, you, you thought you are so important. It's actually arrogant. You are arrogant to think that now this man needs me. At least I'm the one for him. Nani, let it go. <laughs> for oh, for women. Where was this? <laughs> Maybe for <Gona. laughs> you know. As in, you have won my heart. Why <laughs> like? She's so happy. Because, you yeah. know, I think about um, people who stay in bad marriages, mm -hmm. praying. Mm. They're on their knees. Mm. But sometimes prayer changes things. No, no prayer really. changes you. You. Yeah. It's for I you. I agree. It's I agree. Because once I wanted to change, it's witchcraft. Because you have your will. Yeah. So I can't yes. wake up. Yeah. You it's have your, your own will. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So praise for me, for me to be able to accept this situation, for me to be able to find peace. Yeah. For God to give you the grace. Yes. Yeah. Find your, your kanish somewhere. Mm. Prayer doesn't change anything outside you. Yeah. It's arrogant to think that. Yeah. How and about if, if a woman to decides to step out? What are your thoughts about that? Remember, mm. we've come to a place where you yes. have 
I have come to terms. Mm-hmm. He can either be polygamous or, or promiscuous. promiscuous. Mm-hmm. And I know for a fact, I cannot handle being in a polygamous relationship mm. because it's not for everyone no, it, it needs strength mm, as mm. you said some people would want to complain mm. and then you realize this is promiscuous how about if you decide to step out of that relationship mm. and our society looks down mm-hmm. upon women who mm-hmm. do that mm-hmm. and you're telling us to enjoy an african a man is that part of the enjoyment that i should know if it doesn't work can i step out with my children Thank i go and start another life and look for yes, another african man yes yes because there's a woman uh, out there yes. who has just decided maybe uh, realized I've been praying for seven years, for 20 years. Mm. So yeah. what next? You, you see, I, actually, that's one of one of the whatevers, have an affair. And, an affa- and also an affair doesn't necessarily <laughs> mean a sexual affair. Uh-huh. Because not everybody needs... So this is for that. the woman or this is for the woman to have an affair have an affair yeah. i like have that. an affair let me t- let me tell you 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 like sex <laughs> no i like no, that no. let me tell you at the end of the day mm. barbara uh I, I i don't know how how much experience you have with much older women but look mm-hmm. at try and, and and hang around the older older women who've gone through all this they They've did everything suffered. yes they have suffered they have a very different and if you find that woman at her most you know, honest, vulnerable. She will tell you some truths you will not even understand. Yes, Ooh. and you, you'll really you will realize they suffered. Yes, you will not believe also that that is the woman who is telling you that. Mm. Where she will tell you, my friend, if you find it is better here, please go. Go there. I remember there's a time a friend of mine was found. We were, we were young in marriage. You know, you are still excited. And those days for Blackberry. It was yes. early 2000, so you had yes. Blackberry. And those days you'd send an SMS. Those phones It was nice. SMS like this, like this. You know, it yes. was the, the conversation. Yes. So this time she had met somebody. They didn't even do anything much, but they met. They went to the hotel, Serena Hotel. Had, she was excited. You know, just, just that excitement. That someone another just person noticed was, her. Yes. Had noticed you. Wanted to buy you a drink. Was so happy. Well, you know, you enjoyed. Had good conversation. Went up. So she was telling me about it hey? mm. so kumbe the man is her husband is watching her go through the i mean the way she's talking exactly on the phone you know when you're on the phone you can't tell your face facial expressions they just mm. <laughs> and know? someone else is watching yeah. so it was like hey, just help me their phone i wanted to send or want to call one two three she didn't even think about it pa. because so now she called me and told me oh this has happened and he called my aunt tell her you know so even me i'm I'm like, oh my God, so I call auntie. He wants to throw her. He's telling her, ah, she was like, keep quiet. <laughs> so I'm like, what do you mean? He's going to keep quiet. Mm. The only problem with you girls is you talk. Mm. You think us, we never used to do those things. The problem with you people these days, you want to go and revise everything. <laughs> it came, it started, it went. Mm. Some of us, if we tell you the things we were doing to keep sane, yes. you will not even look at us again. <laughs> You understand? So go so back they to keep the old women. A, okay. Go back to those <laughs> old women. Having an affair is, so is happy not right now. necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> no, having an affair is not necessarily sexual. Yes. It can be emotional. Sometimes yeah. you need it. That pick me up. Yes. Because at the end of the day, you're like, okay, you look at the man in totality. Also, you know, there are no things again you do as a t- you did this tit for tat. No. Um, do what you want, but make sure you have your pros and cons. Mm-hmm. So you look at the man and you say, okay, maybe this is a good man. There's no point of leaving this marriage because of this. Yeah, He looks after his kids. He's paying this. Children are happy. Whatever. I'm the one who's not happy. But what's the difference between you and him? If you think about it, because if we are honest, mm-hmm. you know those small affairs mm. turn out to be something else. Maybe you're polygamous. <laughs> <laughs> For women, they call us what? Yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, polyamorous. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And it's illegal in this country, but theirs is legal. Yeah. Yes. B- because I look at it that uh, sometimes temptation, mm. that small text, that part that someone is giving you attention, mm. then all of a sudden someone is complimenting you when you're not getting those compliments mm. at home. Mm-hmm. It, if you're not very careful, mm. it can end up being something else or lead into a relationship. Yes. Now, when we talk about having an affair and you encouraging it, and I get where you're coming from, I understand mm. that sometimes you need that pick me up. Mm. Don't you think when you decide to go that length, because they say, and I've had some men say, women tend to get involved emotionally and with their heart, mm. they will tend to forget this other person. Don't you think you will just drift away mm. and go full blown into this affair? You, you know, there are very many things men tell us to yeah. contain us. You yeah, know, that is true. We are not we are not emotional beings. In fact, if you actually look at women, we are not emotional as the, the emotional the they, they are try trying to, to make. In fact, it it's look. men who are really emotional. I agree. They are very emotional. Only well, that they have decided anger is a, is a, a manly. Mm. You know, they decided which emotions are for men and which ones are for women. <laughs> I agree. But 
let me tell you, and, and uh, even just going back to the story I was telling you of the aunt, I was saying, you yes. know, this was happening. Told, and, and yeah, and she told me, my friend, we have been doing these things. It's mm. you people who like to talk. These days you have gadgets that you can be paper trained. Mm. You yeah. understand? So you should not leave a thread of communication. Yes, you know, so it's... So, Usually when a woman's mind is made up. You know, a woman can stay with you for 10 years and she she has already decided she's going. Yes, when she's fed up, she's yes, fed up. Yes, she's fed up. But every day you come and find your food. Mm. Uh, if yeah. she puts out your shoes, she'll find your shoes. Mm. In the morning, your shirt yeah. is ironed and whatever. Oh, there's a story of a lady also who went out. She she was married to this man. And this man was those rough guys. You know, those of, where? <laughs> he doesn't even call you by your name. It mm. was rough. Mm. And this one, Every day she would do, as in there was nothing out of place. Everything she did for him. The routine continued. Continued. You understand? And for her, she tried to get her happiness elsewhere, but she was very clear in her head that this is my Man. home. Mm. I'm not trying to leave my husband. Mm. I'm not trying to leave my children. I'm not trying to mess it up. It, it needs a certain uh, level of intelligence. Mm. You need to reach a place where you know yourself. Mm. And again, you're not feeding off society that we are told this we are this no who are you yeah what do you need take what you need i like what you're saying because uh, last week we had a guest and mm. i was telling the same guest what you're saying mm. that a woman can run the same routine mm. and cheat on the husband mm. and you'll not found never that, and the person refused do you remember mm. that conversation you will never let me tell you by the time you uh, you know that a woman is cheating on you she doesn't love you anymore of course because, because when you love him, it. yes you yeah. will hide it yes when you love yeah. that man you are yeah. going to hide he will never find but the day you are tired ah you even come at 10. Yeah. <laughs> you're just like, and you're smelling cologne and you're just like, Nani, fanya vilo utafanya. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and we are done. Yeah. But if you love a man, that man, if he called you every day at 8, he'll find you at 8. Mm. If he, in the morning, he likes his eggs, I don't know how, he will find it on the table. You'll do whatever it is you have to do, but you'll protect. And the same goes for men, by the way. Yes. The, if a man loves you, he will, if in, even when he's polygamous, he will protect if you from protect other If he's not man. promiscuous, yes, right? If he's not promiscuous, yeah. yes. if he loves you, he will protect you from the other, woman. the other, whatever. Yeah. So even if he says mukawawili, but he will make sure there's no way that woman will be calling you and telling you, "Hey, unatafuta banako, ako hapa kwangu." The thing I was telling whatever. you about social media yeah. that was very reckless about those those two, those two families. Mm. Mm. Yes, the moment that husband does not protect his children, his Bus. spouse, mm. his family, there's no love there. There's there's no there's no something yeah. wrong with that. Can man. we safely say that he's promiscuous? No. Can we honestly say he's because he's just, he just doesn't what? love the other person? The because first you, wife. Because if you love someone, you mm. respect mm. them. Mm. You respect their privacy. And many a times, men who are promu many many men who men who cheat, for mm -hmm. example, mm -hmm. and also women, of course, and they have partners and they're attached, they protect their men. Mm. But because like, they're thinking like I don't want my family to break. Yes, you don't, and I don't, you don't want embarrass. To know. You don't want to don't embarrass yeah. them. You so know. can 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 promiscuous and love coexist? No, no. Because promiscuity is, is selfish. Yeah. It's really selfish. Yeah. That guy is only thinking what can I get from this and not really care who gets hurt in the process. You know. I I feel like he's prom I feel he's promiscuous and he doesn't love his kids because all this in the limelight, considering he's a cop even. Mm. I want you to, I I want feel to like come back uh, because this story seems it's me and you who understand it. <laughs> or we'll talk about so it. That <laughs> it, 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 it yeah, so, because I know many other people mm. who could be in such scenario. Mm. So if you just break it down a bit, I will. please do not name anyone's no, name <laughs> because I will leave you to hang alone. <laughs> if you're just joining the conversation, we are the adults in the room. We're talking to a lady called Fig Felgona Oyuga and we are asking how to enjoy a relationship with an um, African man. Most so, a Kenyan man. in the room i have seen those calls mm. please allow me just to have a conversation with phil gonna and some mm. of them are coming from men i'm sure mm. they have questions for you but yes let's just uh have phil gonna finish uh, this mm. particular question yeah. and give us a thoughts on it then we can opine on the conversation and your thoughts now if you're just joining in we're talking about how to enjoy a relationship with an african man and most of all, i would say how to enjoy a relationship with a kenyan man mm -hmm. because it is claimed in africa between south african nigerians and kenyans these men are difficult. Kenyan <laughs> men are. So we were asked. We were talking about matters polygamy mm -hmm. and promiscuity, mm. and it is alleged that, uh, based on your book, mm -hmm. um, uh, in fact, I need to get a book. That book, I need to read it at mm, this yes. date. Mm. 
if he, he is polygamous until proven promiscuous. promiscuous. And Carrigo had an example. Mm. So um, the example is this very well-known musician mm. who is married legally mm. to one woman. However... And several he, musicians also fall into that category mm, of yeah, that behavior. Yeah. Mm. However, he has a clandestine, and we'll call her that because mm. that's what she is. Mm. Is two oh. children clandestine? You'll answer. That. In, in African society, that is a wife. But <laughs> now, <laughs> but the, we are we are yeah we are gonna have that conversation mm. with Duchess next week mm. because, in all honesty, one kid is hmm, mm. two. two? Hey. You know, and in recent in recent past, the mm. few days we've seen him with the second woman, mm. as you know, as she was being administered into the government mm. and you know we've been told that you know the invitation card said come with your family mm. and so he she went with him and the children and the children and the whole week you know it's been a wrangle between the two women mm. saying this saying that but you said something very important that a polygamous man will always first and foremost protect mm. the kids mm. not the women mm. the kids in my opinion the kids are too much in the limelight. Mm. Who is protecting them? Who is taking care of them? Mm -hmm. I know the woman, just as a woman, every other woman will always take care of her kids. Mm. But I'm asking, could this man be promiscuous? Because it feels like he's, he's very promiscuous. promiscuous. No, that's a promiscuous man. Because you know also a polygamous man comes with a certain level of maturity. Yes. He's a manager. You know, basically, because mm. you have this one, two, three, you four You will all homes. align by force. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you have one, four, five homes, you know. So, one, he, he manages the fi finances. He will be doing time management, you know, and all resources because, you know, when it comes to that, love is also a resource in, mm. that, in, that, in that equation. Yes. So, if he cannot manage these women, you know, because how many men have two three wives like, and even some of them uh, prominent men you don't see them fighting no yeah. online mm. or anywhere for that matter like. they don't even write things yes mm. you know because you take uh, your cue from the leader mm. so a polygamous man is a leader He's a, you know, he's a, he's managing, he has this company <laughs> with two franchises, yeah. yes. <laughs> so, to, to speak. Yeah. so they take the cue from that guy who says, Nani, this is how we are doing things here. Yeah. yeah. You, you either align or you so, so here, this is the older one, she, yeah, blah, 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 blah. You, just because you are here doesn't mean this is what you're going to do, whatever, whatever. Yeah. This is how we're going to do it. Nobody, as I remember what I keep saying, because many people think that now you have to hold hands. And, no, you do not Sing have kumbaya. to be friends <laughs> <laughs> yes we don't have to but you must respect each other yes. and that respect can only come if the head dictates or brings demands it, down. Yeah. The, it also means he doesn't even respect himself starts yeah. From the yes top. yeah and he doesn't even respect himself because if he was if he respected himself these women would not be doing this they'll not be doing this but they know this one is wish washing who will learn pick here if you takuja then you you'll now be gossiping about that other one then you'll get that then you'll post mm. because you know now you're fingering that one then now you've got somebody who's back there then he, he needs to grow up. let, let me ask tidy. you a question mm. you've seen this lady who is with twins Really, Carigo? <laughs> I don't know which one. <laughs> I'll show you during the break. Yeah, because I want you to answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know if she's polygamous or promise. Okay, this is oh, the one who's the the, 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 the brothers. Black the black and, and 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 white child isn't it no there's uh, also the black and white there's child. also that one and oh then uh, there's one who's talking about about the brothers she, the she twin children, brothers two wakorinos uh, two twin wakorinos uh -huh. she's expecting she's expecting with, a child with the brothers yes but she didn't know who is the father because they all share the same bed you see you see the problem that we have now is we still have one leg in our traditional ways and then we have another leg in this modern day the modern day traditionally and i'll say traditionally in my tradition i don't know others but in lower tradition yeah i uh, i can have uh something with his brother his cousins whatever so the wife belong to the clan children belong to the clan 
So we could have these kids. Mm-hmm. It could be yours. Could be if you if we really went down to it, it would be it could be and yours. If he could can't be your brother. Your brother would ask exactly. Or, or brother, he, if he can't conceive, he wouldn't even know. No. Yeah. He yeah. wouldn't yeah. even know. Step in. Yes, because yeah. at that first time, I'll I'll go everywhere. So yeah. that so now that's why you see there are no um, important are they important or what Ben? We never used to say they be, were be, because, because we, we, we didn't know. We didn't know. Even yes. he didn't know. You only knew barren women because now for us, yeah. there's nobody else who can carry for you the pregnancy. Yes, you yeah. try with someone else, it <laughs> yes, is not yeah, working yeah. out. So yeah. for you, you tried all these guys, him, his cousin, his brother, you know, whatever, yeah. he's too, around there. Then the first child, you don't really know who it is. Then yeah. now, in some cases, you'd see now, there's like a big gap between the like firstborn mm. and the like second. Because now the second, you now decided to concentrate on him. That's yeah. when you knew, I'm okay. Yeah. Maybe it is him. Yes. So now, if it now takes like a, like a period, now you know this is the guy who's the problem. But you don't go and tell him. It's obviously, his mother has really been watching. You have been watching. Your mother has been watching. Because all of them have a stake here. Mm. Yes. Your mother hopes that you can give birth <laughs> because she, you, she can give be her shame. Yes. yes. This one is also hoping the son can side children you understand so these three women had were very busy there so she was not really alone in making mm. you know those other decisions let's get back to your book and mm. you have a chapter that mm. you talk about live your life everyone will adjust mm-hmm. now is that for the woman or the man oh, it's for the woman definitely this by the this is for women this uh, book is for women. It's for women everything i'm writing you'll, i'm telling when we you. end this show you'll tell us where to get this book. Yes. women yes this Maureen, is for women. and the rest <laughs> janet yes mary christine those people i know mm. on, uh, we need to plug into this but then we shall discuss <laughs> after yeah, yes no this this is for the women um and african women mostly because for us remember we are taught uh, everything is about somebody else um you you went i mean right from the from childhood even before you knew what was what uh, my mother used to shout at us hey wash dishes you want to be untidy and then you'll go to your husband's house and then everybody will say you are untidy like your mother so mm. from then on you are already <laughs> or what kind of woman will you be yes. what kind of mother you're sleeping or until I... now what type of woman is this that sleeps until <laughs> yeah you should be called baby a pc bado unalala those days you have provision yeah, from me i'm thinking like i can sleep? sleep yeah i can sleep till late what is and it? on a saturday yeah baby a pc bado unalala <laughs> <laughs> yeah so we we were always taught to be something and not ourselves so we went into a marriage not even knowing who we were mm. because you already been told be hard working be this be this be this be, be the other because your your husband will be expecting a b c d yes so you walked in there first of all you don't even know who you are because you can hear your mother just shouting all over the place then you reach you here. need to live up to such yes. an expectation then you reach here and then you you are told uh if to keep this guy Again, these are other things that you must do. So we are always doing something mm. and never being ourselves. I remember yeah, um, trying um, to lose weight. Yes. Trying to run. Mm. Trying to take herbs. Everything. Mm. Yeah. Every, trying fact, to get the best <laughs> recipe of Mokimo. Uh, uh, one sex doctor. Uh, what are they called? Sex anti Se- after another. Yes, sexologist. Yeah. Yes. You can't miss. We are running around session. at night like witches. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Jumping from <laughs> one minute to the next. Mm-hmm. Always looking to be something that you're not you know i remember there's um some f- close friends that we had growing up and I, I really used to watch them this lady um the lady was not uh, a born again christian her should be they are drinking her beer and her husband was saved saved you know those mm-hmm. are so he'd be sitting next to her and now she's talking they match up? i don't even know but what i realized is this when you're yourself your people you will attract your people mm. you know so you attracted this person because you are not yourself that's why you're finding it very difficult to manage each I'm wondering other. if some men are, are listening to you because yesterday they really caned women mm. who d- drink. Mm. <laughs> no, if, if that is not your person by then, I and mean, nobody's forcing you. So you look for the one who, does, who doesn't drink yes. and they are there. You yes. know, everybody has somebody. You look for someone who's compatible with you or will meet the contours of your heart. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Mm. Um, I want us to talk about... No, I think we'll talk about that after 9.30. Yes. So, mm. so let me move to the table of content called... His people are not your people. Thank you. We, we, I think you need to drill that. Because the Bible says, no. your people, people will shall be, be my people. people. Wherever you go, I go. Even Ruth followed. <laughs> Even the story of Naomi. <laughs> now here, Phil Gona is telling us those guys yeah. that we do these things. Sure. <laughs> those were those guys. Unless those guys can come and tell those people that this one, <laughs> this is what they yeah. learned. Why, why are you saying in your book, yeah. these people are not your people? Yet, even when you are tying the knot, mm. you're, you're told... Now your family, you, not not you and and them, the two of you. 
Mm. You know, we, we have to come to a, a point where we accept things for what they are. You're, we are not saying that you're going to um, be disrespectful. You, are, you know, you're not you're going to throw them out. You're not going to help them. You know, we are saying um, learn a bit of psychology. You know, human. I don't know why we think psychology is just for us, for certain people. They call it emotional intelligence. Yes. yes. Learn a bit of it to be able to interact with people. Now, um, you marry this man. Both of you, of course, don't know each other from you know a kind you will of learn about yes. each other as you, you go along we, yeah and naturally you're going to have problems you'll have squabbles you'll have arguments conflicts yes but then you know like our thing is always i'm going to tell on him to his mother wrong move and that time you are thinking he i will tell her and she's can a woman imagine? she can understand yes, but that is his mother you yes. imagine right now somebody coming to your daughter uh, to you tell on your daughter to you don't the first thing just be like what's wrong with this guy when i drop a little me talk do you know where i've come from with this child until now it's a person in, you know that type of thing so number one even you understand as a woman that that is somebody else's child. You are busy where's talking room, rubbish. Where is room for? I hear people say, "My mother in love." Understand? Mm. They don't even call their mother in law. Wait, my that mother man dies, then let's see where the love is. <laughs> <laughs> that man fall down right now. Yeah. <laughs> and then see the love. Oh, you've seen it right yeah. now. It's crazy. Yeah. How many widows are being chased from yes. their homes? So you feel like we you should know. put boundaries. Put boundaries. Everything with moderation. Okay. You know, don't 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 first forget your people. There are many women also who now forget their and people. go to their other side. I've yes. seen I've seen yeah. that mm. a lot yeah. with don't. some of my relatives mm. and some of my friends. They've forgotten their mothers, mm. and now all of a sudden they're focusing so much on the man because you want the man to like you and his family to like you. They yes. can. And so sometimes you mm. find that yeah, genuinely mm. the family likes you, mm. and now it's like there's a very big distance or drift with your family. Yeah. What are your thoughts about that? No, I, I always say don't forget your people because. Because then also, it 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 puts a bad light on you. Yeah. You know, because if if I, I can't really believe you love me more than you love your mother. If yeah. I'm your mother-in-law, I mean I'm yeah. a stranger at the end True. of the day. True. So that relationship You're you have with your people is what will inspire our relationship. You understand? So you can't say you don't want your mother or cut off your people or you don't want your people and then you're going to pick these strangers wholesale and you're going to carry them. I'll still be looking at you like, no. <laughs> that one gave birth to you. You are doing this to me that you don't know is the one that you're going to love. So somebody would still look at you sideways. Even without that, we are saying don't put your heart so much on these things. Mm. Um, they're not your relatives, imagine. Imagine they're not your relatives. Go but check. You want blood? And they really <laughs> don't care. They're my husband's family. Yeah. yeah. They, might, they might even care uh -huh. to some extent, but there's a, their care also is tied to their, yes. their child. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Very, very many relationships you'll see. Once that story ends, yeah. the, they, don't talk, to they don't talk to you. They might even talk to the children, but for you, because the allegiance is where with the man with, pa with their with person, their, with their person mm. you know so these things at you oh you're trying to show how you how good you can be i mean there are better things you can do if mm. you're just joining in we are the adults in the room we're talking to Feldona oyuga an author and the conversation we have with her is how to enjoy a relationship with an african man and she's written a book to this i see your conversations i see those <coughs> messages and i see your calls when we come back we shall be sampling your views and of course continuing with the conversation 0719012600 is the number to call spice fm ke on instagram facebook and twitter is where we are opining the conversation our whatsapp line is 0110288162 we are the adults in the room If you're just joining in, we are the adults in the room. It's 23 minutes past 9 o'clock. And we're having a conversation with a very beautiful lady by the name of Felgona Oyuga. Mm -hmm. And she's an author. She's written a very interesting book by the name How to Enjoy a Relationship with an African Man. But today I want to make it specific. How to enjoy this African man who is a Kenyan. Mm. Yeah, because I think some of you have been complaining a lot. So today we're being told real truths reality some of you might agree with them some of you might not but she has some gems and she's making sense or oh, what do you think my darling yes she is making sense and i want us to cover in at length understanding your african man's love language mm -hmm. maybe you can break down what love languages are and then how one can move into understanding because i realized this story of love languages, people don't know about it. No. But uh, we've always been talking about it on this show. Yes. People don't make an effort. I think it's that whole aspect of thinking it's a modern day thing. Mm -hmm. But is it really? No, it isn't. Um, love language, 
you'd say is um, how somebody chooses to appreciate you you know out of the norm yes. where yeah, yes maybe you are you are living in this house and you'll do the shopping and not even just do the shopping you know there's there's men who who will go to the supermarket by yeah. themselves mm. because they're like okay you rest it saturday that's a love language but do you know some of us don't think that's a love language that is it you're not mm. trusting <laughs> me to shop what's wrong with you and mm. that is it and remember when we started we were talking about um romance mm. and all this once you you've gotten over that then these ones become clear mm. because um somebody saying rest I, I i think you need to rest yeah. it's not that i don't trust you to shop it's Saturday. Do your thing. Uh, I'm giving you two hours. That's to not do, an element of do. stinginess. <laughs> no. Okay, there's the stingy yeah. ones. No, there's the stingy ones. I know those stingy ones because I, I used to be somewhere like that where those days for Nakumat. Yes. We would go to Nakumat and, and then with 24 hour shopping. I started mm. to ask, after Yazuru read, we'll be filed in the with the children. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, there are some things you go through in this <laughs> world. <laughs> but uh -huh. I ask God, <laughs> You what know? was I thinking? You know, so uh -huh. you're filed in the car, all of you. And then he stands at the, the till, at the Cashiers. cashier till. And then you're told to pick everything, everything you want. because he's not coming back until 30 days. Are, are you serious? Yes. So if that, that, that month the baby decides to diarrhea and oh use more than God. three diapers in that day, he will not calculate. Mine. Too bad. Are you serious? Fucker? the next door. Are you so, serious? So he will pay for whatever it is. He will pay is. for whatever. You Even are, if it's excess, yes. but he's not coming he's back. He's not again. coming back. So you're there trying to buy danias and tunyanyas at, at Nakumat, but yeah. you know, thankfully, Nakumat had eh. everything. Yeah. So you buy everything, everything. So there's there's another way you know here you're being played. But you, again... Did you, you feel you're being played? At that time, no, I actually had a problem with that. I was feeling, I was feeling mistreated. Mm. Yeah, I was. I was we feeling, love yes. shopping. Yes, but, but you see now, there's you're a giving time. me limitations. Yes, you see, if if he had said it's in the morning, um, it's Saturday. Yes, you go and have tea at Java. Mm. What I do for you shopping? That's a different story from. Yes. Mm. Uh, and you know, you know it because of the things also that I said pre they're going for shopping. Yes. Right? You people don't know how much things cost in this place. That's mm. why every time you're just using things. <laughs> 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 yeah? Do you know how money is made? Living, yeah, living the money lights falls? on yes, everywhere. Yeah. Yeah? You and when your children. To, yes. These people, hey, don't take this. You don't know what I come and find you. You children are on the chairs. You don't know they're doing what. So you know there when you're told, anyway, I'm going to the supermarket. There you're not being helped. <laughs> but yes. if it's nanny. You have been working hard. It's a long week. You know that. You know him. You yes. know this. His thing is, I want you to relax. It's never that serious. Amma, sometimes you can wake up on Saturday and say, today I want to do barbecue nini for kids. Let guys enjoy. You don't worry. It's not those satikata kitungu nyanya na nini na nini. Wash a jiko alafu nifanye barbecue. No, he does that. He does that. Right, and then people say, we are working <laughs> we are together. together no, no, no. I always no. think that's a hoax. That's a hoax. You know, Flegona, <laughs> there's a TikTok video I was listening to. Mm. And this lady was explaining about man children, mm. how many women are married to a man child. Yes. And she was saying how um, one time the fire alarm mm -hmm. thingy mm. went off mm. in their bedroom. Mm. And you see now it's making a lot of noise and mm. it's, it's making noise. But mm. what happened was that mm. so it needed to be replaced. Mm. So she's done the cleaning in the house. She's fed the kids she's put the kids down she's showered she just wants to chill mm. and the alarm starts ringing mm. and she's like okay could you please help mm. and he's like i think we can sleep with it the whole night <laughs> how <laughs> and she was very frustrated mm. and the next store was maybe what 20 or 30 kilometers away because it was a sunday night mm -hmm. she went into the car she went she bought the batteries she came Panned out the bed, changed the batteries, and there's nothing the man did. Then that's and when you she began, a problem. And she began by saying, listen, we have a good relationship. My man is faithful. He's a provider. But he behaves like a man child. So what is a man a child? Mm -hmm. Is that really a good relationship? Exactly. What is a man child? What is a good relationship? relationship yeah. exactly. Because you know, she was, she, she, and it was a series of ladies who were expressing how sometimes a man just doesn't want to do something, mm. but he knows it's his in his role to do it. You see, yes. like this example, he should clearly you be know, the one yeah. getting or, up, or going to the yeah. store, you know, mm -hmm. but he did absolutely nothing mm. and he was comfortable with 
that noise the whole night. And, and I think the thing is, is she's the one who's getting frustrated then, but he's probably always been that way. So yeah. I'm sure if you asked him, he'd just be like, what's the problem? But you she know accepted what, a yes. mediocre man. Yes. And what and Barbara yeah. said, you know, like, w and asked, sorry, is what is a good relationship? Yes. You know, for women, a good relationship is he doesn't cheat on me. That's the first thing that somebody That's what we he provides. Yes, yeah. yeah. He's, he, he's, he doesn't cheat on me and he provides. And because there's more to a relationship than providing a not Maybe he's not cheating because nobody wants him. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if somebody, because he's, he's that your bugger. So you, That's your, <laughs> you, you know, people have nobody, seen those traits. They yes, don't want And nobody him. wants him. And they're thinking, yeah, hey, and my man doesn't cheat on you're me. You're thinking you're special. Yeah, nobody wants him. He just hasn't gotten the opportunity. <laughs> because nobody will give him one. Oh my you God. You're the only one who's been blinded by yeah. all these madness. Exactly, yeah. exactly. But probably that guy has been that way. Where she takes, and... Uh, uh, in my next book, the, we, I'll be discussing, you know, like the feminine and the masculine. Yes, yes. For very many women, we take on masculine roles. Thank you. And don't realize. And so when we start operating in our masculine, then he starts operating in his feminine. So Ooh. his feminine has time to flourish. You now, you are bringing out, because all of us have yin yang yes please Family. break it down for me because i think i have i had or mm. i don't know if i still have that problem mm. sometimes my masculine role mm. comes out very strong yes i take control i'll take charge mm. i will do what needs to be done mm. if you're supposed to do something and you don't do it mm. i'll not ask you in fact today just before about two hours ago i was talking mm. to these ladies mm. and <laughs> they're telling me that i have a cup pride which is true mm. i could be in problems mm. I will not ask you as the man. I'm thinking, and can't you see? Mm. Can't but he doesn't know. As yeah, he's not a mind reader. Yeah. <laughs> I've told you once, I don't think I want to repeat myself. Mm. I'm mm. one of those people. Mm. If I tell you, Karigo, this, this, that, mm. the next time I tell you, I will be doing it. It's because you've gone through a lot of disappointments. Yeah. That's you know, it. so you, so it, 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 it's a I'm way like, to let shield yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it's a, a self-defense yes, self mechanism. Yeah. mechanism. So you don't want to. And then also. I agree eating. with you because I have I've also, I had to work myself out of that. Yes. Asking for help. Help. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong exactly. with asking for help. There's no shame in it. And I'm not saying it and also I because I've been good at women, it. And a lot of women, even mm. in families, in mm. relationships, mm. you've asked him to do this. He doesn't. Once, twice, you're like, I'll take care. I'll but because he knows you're going to do it. That's true. Because, and you, you know, there's one day somebody told now, me. Now, is that a feminine man or what kind of man? <laughs> because no, I really would like but you Because see, there are people with such characters. Yes. These are their children. Mm. They see them. They live with them in the same you house. You let them be them. sent home one day. Just sit there in the house with them. Mm. Imagine they won't die. You see, the problem is, <laughs> <laughs> the problem is we have, we you're have. talking like fed, a friend of mine. Yeah, we <laughs> fed ourselves with so many things. From society, from what, from what, from what. So, and then we don't deal with a lot of the hurt we go through. Mm. So we, we don't sit down with ourselves long enough to know, is this a response to this situation or, or to my traumas? Mm. You know, so we can't, so from the beginning, yeah. So from the beginning, you've gone out with this man and you've always just taken charge. You decide where we are going. You will pay things. I don't know why women. I hope women stopped doing those things. To me, I So you pay for things. You take charge. You do whatever. You are. You are always pulling, 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 and covering. And them. covering. Then you let it fall. Mm. Let it fall. You will die. Yeah, you will die. Let's Some of us see. don't like embarrassment. No, sometimes let it fall. Somebody said, let it fall then so that you know whether you have a man or oh. company. You know, it just could be your guy <laughs> we are working with. He's escorting <laughs> you yes. in this journey of life. Better you know early. You know, so let it fall. There are people let who... Let the kids be chased out of yeah. school. And you know, it starts from the small things. That, but you're a mother. Things. Imagine. No, it starts from the small I'm a mother and maybe I have the let money or go. I can go and borrow from my chama. Or no. No. So my kids... Visit home. Just sit. And if he doesn't, father do yeah, that. if he can't do it for one week, tell him, Nani, this is now where we draw the line. I have the money. I know you can afford it if you organize yourself. Blah, 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 blah. You have refused to organize yourself. I'm paying this fees. I want it back. They don't pay it back. Bus. They don't pay do it back. Do you know how many? Do you know men? You become a debt collector in I, your house. Let me tell you something. <laughs> and even men can testify they fear getting debts from women. Mm, mm. And many women will pretend mm. that they don't have money. Mm. Many women will pretend that he person ya chama ya carigo because their men will not pay it back. No, you, They'll be like, don't we live in the same house? Yeah, Are the children also. Yours, yes. yes, you can have them say that. But that's what I'm saying. And and that's why many conversations must be had early. Yeah. Uh, one of the chapters in my book is money, money, money. Yes. And you know, having a relationship is a financial decision. That's what we don't 
you know, many of us are in financial distress because of the relationships we, we put are in. ourselves mm. into or that we are in. Mm. Yeah. So those are candid conversations we must have. But you know, we have been taught to shy away from money. You know, a woman who talks about money, mm. why are you greedy? Mm. Why are you money minded? Materialistic. Why are you materialistic? And I'm like, if I'm materialistic, why are you coming here with no materials? Exactly. Not with the materials. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, we are having the conversation in the That's past. That's a tweet. You <laughs> just <laughs> give a <laughs> <hug> yeah. ammunition <laughs> to disturb people. Yeah. Don't, hey. just, don't just show up. It's true. You know, so you either know who you are. We're not going to have these conversations. What are you bringing to the table? I don't know what money. Are you a man or are you a mouse? Yeah. Let's find out from <laughs> <laughs> because a real man will not start having those. What are you bringing to the table? Mm. Uh, so you, I don't know. If I pay fees, will you buy food? There's something wrong there. You're right. <laughs> There's something very wrong there. You're right. And you know, because and and I I, I, I write uh, for a, for a certain publication. So yes, and I write for women. And some of my conversations have been around this, and I've been called a gold digger. Everything old you have a woman. There's nothing. They have not yes. called me. <laughs> you know, but I no, always called me <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> wonder what somebody's problem. No, it's called a pig. Yeah. And, and then you're just like, yeah, and what is your problem? And you see, those are the things that society does to women yeah. when we start speaking up. Yeah, yes. exactly. To shame they want to silence you. Yes. Yes. Silence yes. Yeah. And that one who's calling you all those kind of names, is somebody's DM right now begging, mm. begging like a child, mm. you know. But now, because here he can hide behind a screen, He's now feeling like a man mm. by calling you some uh, some type of name. You're mm. not a man, mm. Nani. A man, there's no way. Mm. You either want uh, to be a man or you want to you want me to be the man. And let me tell you, when a woman is earning money in that house and you don't have money. <laughs> you, know, you know, the way us we are made. And that's it's not at badly. That's how we are made. There's no way right now I will have money and then I've fed a man and they come here. Come and tell you people, hey, today I don't even have money for drinks. If you know these days I'm done to pay everything in that house. <laughs> It yes, of course. Women, yes. women will say we'll it, talk unfortunately. And respect. Or they'll, they'll say, to, say it to someone. Yes. If not broadcast it, it they'll, will, they'll cry it out yes. or vent out to mm. a friend. Because that's not how we are made. We are not the providers. Mm. We are the naturals. Mm. You go bring it, I'll make it into something. Yes. You know, you bring the money, whatever, I make the house. Yeah. You know, you give me the baby, I'll, I, I, I'll I will carry. nurture that mm. baby. You mm. understand? So, if you want to start changing some roles, then then that's where the problem is. And that's where the frustration is. Where now, I've told you to change the light, but he's like, ah, she'll ask three times. I know how it goes. Mm. <laughs> she'll ask. But there's another man you will not have to even. He would have checked those batteries. Yeah. And do something about yes, it. Yes, th yeah. that thing would not even have made noise. Yes. have checked those batteries. Yes. But we've held these days our men to such low standards. Because they are shaming us. You know, these days they're social media. They insult us. Mm. They insult. They call us all manner of names. So now you don't want to be, you don't want to be the materialistic girl. You don't want to be the gold <laughs> digger. And I'm like, why am I, why should I dig sand? See, they dig gold. Exactly. <laughs> so God, are you guys saying, why are you digging sand yeah, if you can dig yeah. gold? And he's asking, why are you calling this woman a materialistic person? That you I don't have tweet. materials mm. and you want to get into a relationship mm. with her? You stay aside. How to enjoy a relationship with an African man. And as the Duchess is saying, how to enjoy a relationship with a Kenyan man. Mm -hmm. 0719 is the number to call. I've seen your calls. And when we just come back after this small break, we'll be picking them up. That is Malton Jordan falling. Are you falling for this African man? Nahata <laughs> Kusaidi. If you join the conversation, we are the adults in the room. We have Miss Falgona Oyuga. And she's talking about, and she's also an author. She's written a book called How to Enjoy the Really, a relationship with an African man, and the Duchess has added more so a Kenyan man. Mm. Zero seven one nine zero one two six hundred is the number to call. Hello, Spice. Hello, Barizeni. Salama, Sana. What do you have a question or a comment? Yes, a question. Okay, kuna kitu bade mi ni sema ile mingine. It has left me with very many questions in my head, and I'm very grateful by them the letter home to Papa. I remember there was a time I told you. Uh, me, I was with someone who I knew who didn't marry and I was giving her baby girl treatment. Look at your story. Yes, I do. Ah, yes. Yeah. That's what I mean. When you give women baby girl treatment or as you like calling it romance, does it always mean that it's going to end up with marriage or something? Ah, yeah. Now, there's another elephant in the room you're not addressing, but okay, now I know you need to pick the Nico. But do you understand also Kenyan women are very, very unromantic. Una elewango hivyo. Una, una, una text mtu. Hey, you look good. Hey, anakujibu. Okay. Ama, 
unajua venye unaka i like your dress is looking nice i know can i answer you that question as i give fell gone to answer anyone who's answering you okay, doesn't like I you doesn't like you don't like not you. like we are not romantic mm. we just don't like you <laughs> eh, but let's not go to answer your question let me take another one that you've had his question yes. you've written it down yes. so let me take another call so that at least you answer two by two mm. hello spice hello how are you sir would you like to say your name or stay anonymous let me remain anonymous huh? go ahead ask your question and I'm uh, from Nakuru. Yes, thank you for making time to call us. And thank you for a very fantastic talk that you are having. Yes, what is your comment or question today? Is there is there any school where by somebody can learn romance? <laughs> 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 Let us have uh, Phil gonna answer that question. <laughs> now, uh, I think we have uh, there's some level of honesty. Yes. Two people have asked almost a similar question. Mm. It seems Kenyan women are not romantic. Mm. What are your thoughts about because someone is saying <laughs> is there a school meaning uko kwake ama anajua mtu? It was Dex Alit. Yes. yes. <laughs> Okay, so first we start with the he, he talked the first guy talked about baby girl treatment. Yes. Does it mean you have to marry the person? No, I mean you like that person. Maybe you're living in the moment. Uh, maybe you you are not thinking about marriage. You don't have to marry unless but I don't know what baby girl treatment. But should is. you communicate because some people they uh, they give you an impression they're into you. They give, and, they, and they could be, but they just don't want to marry. This this particular man said mm. he was into a girl. He gave them the baby girl treatment, mm. did whatever she wanted mm. or whatever she needed. But he knew in his hearts of hearts mm. that even if she cooked diamonds, <laughs> he was not going to marry this mm. woman. It was all for the physical. And he should have told her that. And that's what I'm saying. That many yeah. of them don't say. Make things clear. Um, I always say make things clear. But you know, many people don't want to make things clear because they want to manipulate you. Yes. They know if they tell you the truth. And, and I'm sure he knew she wanted more that's yes. why he was doing the baby girl treatment and not to, saying exactly to, sh to shut her up to, yeah to, or to blind like her I'll cover her. you know yeah so uh make things clear it just makes you up that much you know better i think a kenyan women romantic um again you know me I have a problem with that romantic word or romance yes. or whatever but as you rightfully said um if somebody likes you they are going to be uh, more engaging than mm -hmm. that. Your dress is nice, I know. Yeah. <laughs> they, <laughs> they don't I, feel you. I, yeah, they, they really don't care. So, and, not, and that's usually a problem for men because um, men get into a room and they get their top five chicks mm. and who are usually out of their league. Yes. You they know, always shoot further. They, they shoot high. Yeah. Them, they they shoot, don't stick in their yeah, lane. They don't stick in their lane. Mm. So this girl will come in and you look for those two chicks. Mm. You and know, sometimes and the lady will respond just because she hasn't gotten something better. Mm -hmm. But when something Bus. better comes, they leave. And sometimes, okay, you see now, that's the other thing. That's what now happens for women. For women, we wait to be chosen. For men, they go and choose their top five. So yeah, that okay. top five now, maybe that number one is out of his league. That's why you're hearing it. Oh, your dress is so nice. I know. Because she knows she's top. Of course. Oh. She, you know, like, she I knows, knows you're not in <laughs> yes. the league. This is not, you're not my standard. You understand? Yeah. So he'll go to the second, third, and then Una he's... a Kenyan league, not a yes. premier league. <laughs> you know. So he'll <laughs> go down his, his list until he gets, but he'll get his top five. Okay. But you see now what happens for women is, we sit there, so that, I, that woman who's even saying, I know, might not even get her top five because she... The, the most you can do is just brush off these two ones, mm. yes. hoping that the one you want will see you. And maybe you're not in this top five. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> so maybe these are your these these are your lucky chances. These are your lucky chances. But, you know, you, them. but you, no, you're not you, you're not shooting your shot either. Mm. So you should also go into a room and get one, two, three, four, five. Start. He doesn't like me. Bus. Move on. Move on. But get your top five. My decks are lit. People want to talk to you. <laughs> Hello, spies. Hello. Hello, judges. How are you, my darling? Would you like to say anonymous or would you share your name? This is Njiwa. Salimia Karigo. Hello, Karigo. Hey, Sasa Nima Salimika, how are you? I'm good today. I'm so happy. <laughs> Very. The conversation is amazing. What are your thoughts? Okay, okay, okay. Let me say this. Number one, Karigo. Hello. Hello. Yeah, she's called Felgona. Ask the question. Okay, okay, okay. Just some some few observations to make. Eh? Now, now, now. I agree with you on a lot. By the way, you're making a lot of sense. However, 
I want to I want to beg to differ with you on just one point. Eh? You've talked about if it doesn't work here, you better try it there. Now, what makes you think that things are good there that you're going and uh, that the challenges that you've met where you are will not meet them where you're going? I mean, there is no perfect husband, Karigo and Barbara and Feregona. There is never a perfect human being. Even Andrew, sometimes ana fumani wana kijakazi kwenye parking. So, there is nobody who is perfect. Just work on making your, just face your challenges. Don't run away from your problems. Thank you, Barbara. Nine zero one to six hundred is a number to call. Do you have any comments on the socials before I pick any other? They call? are very, very, very many. But before I read a few, uh, let's talk about the. You don't have time to talk one about for sex, baby. Okay, let me That's pick one. one more call, then we yeah. adjust it. Mm. Hello, darling. Yes, how are you? Fine, thank you. Can I say your name, or you want to stay anonymous? Uh, I'm always uh, comfortable with it. If you say my name. Thank you for calling in. Samson, what are your thoughts today? Thank you so much. Uh, about uh, the topic today, I, I would just like to ask a question, please. Go ahead. Does the term romantic only uh, appear in men's dictionary, but not in um, um, female's dictionary? Uh, Samson, thank you for that. People, uh, women, women, are romance. women, we are doing badly. We are I doing think badly. There's a problem there's somewhere. A, you need to write a <laughs> book about it's that. Because then they are not giving us the romance, so we stop giving it. I think we need. To, we really need to understand each other. And yes. then our love languages. languages. And I yeah. think what also this shows is that men are not feeling that tenderness. Yes, and they they are doing. They are going an extra mile. Yes, they're, and, and they're, they're not, not get. We're not reciprocating. Could could we be coming from a place of past trauma that we've been yes. hurt? We have seen things, so we're now saying, oh, whatever. There's trauma. There's feminism. That is mixed up in it. Everything is mixed up, and then we are confused. Or oh, is it there? There's there's a mchanganyik it's called what mchanganyik uh, malum madogosh yeah. yes <laughs> and then there was a question from Jiwa before we get to Karigo yes, Jiwa. yeah when he was asking about you know like if you want to try somewhere else or whatever yes. remember we said you really need to know yourself yes there's that guy who can't change we are not said that he's he's b a bad person we are saying I need something and I'm not getting you need it. A thrill. Yes. Not even a thrill. Sometimes you just there's something you need. Like a, vibe. You need a vibe. You need a friend. You need mm. a, a, a tenderness mm. that some men can't give. And many because again, trauma or even the way they were raised. You know, some people were some men are just some men, rigid. No, also so African. Or they were raised like wild and sometimes you can't really blame them. It's men true. you know, look at in the African society, you know, you reach a certain age, you know, you're thrown out somewhere there into a, they're calling it a simba. Now at least mm. these days they have doors, it's nice. Yes. But those days you're sleeping with the cows. Yes. It's true. outside. You have, you have to survive. You wake up in the morning, nobody gives you food. No you know, you, you are just a so, wild animal. Yes. Then now you come here to Nairobi the first time you have worn shoes, trousers, and then this woman is telling you that yeah, I want you to be romantic. Mm. <laughs> I need and you to pay my rent. And you Who paid you? Yes, that I'm a been fair. Yeah, so yeah. it's been rough, and I think that's why it's important. Again, as these guys are now are saying, maybe now we also now really should take it up um, seriously and and consciously, intentionally. You need to, to, write to about show trauma. because yes, I, when I think about maybe to show I'm not tenderness. That romantic. Mm. <laughs> you know, me, I know I'm romantic. Mm. I'm very. Th I think romance comes it's with thoughtfulness. thoughtfulness. Yes. Yeah. Mm. So let's talk me about. On my mood. Oh no. no. <laughs> <laughs> trauma. Trauma. <laughs> trauma response. Uh, <laughs> let's talk about sex, baby. This yeah. is the last content I want us to talk, but mm. you have to come back because there are too many other contexts we've not touched. <laughs> I'd love to come back. Yeah, let's yeah. talk about sex, baby. Mm. Uh, Carigo, I am getting information. Hold that because your decks are lit and the time is short. She needs to come back for this book. <laughs> so let's pick this close. Hello, Spice. Hello, Spice. How are you, sir? Fine. What is your name and what are your thoughts about the conversation? Let my name uh, remain anonymous. Huh? Sir, what are your thoughts about the conversation or the question to Felgona? Okay. Does the word Roman mean different to different people? That one, huh? Yes, we agree on that. Then can I share? You know, we men, and African men, we really stuff because actually, of the way we have been brought up, as she has just mentioned, eh? 
tulilelewa kwa ile jia ambayo hata leo mwanzo watu hawajui sasa tunajikuta katika giza and we don't understand what is a, what the real man but naturally for men you know men they get triggered when they see and their mind get uh, you know wow and then they you know they become out of that eh? so maybe that understanding you don't understand it very clearly thank you Thank you for that, sir. You've gotten his comment. Romance. He knows who are to stand up. But I'm happy that uh, that men want to know, and know, they are willing to and learn. And they're, they're willing to learn. Yeah. I thought they were going to be very upset about the affairs and other things, but they're just like, "Nani, no romance." <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> There's a, I, I don't know if it's a lady or a man. Mm. Uh, she's called, uh, uh, let me just read it, Chogo. Mm. Hi, lady. I'm really enjoying the conversation. I am, in fact, just smiling in my house and truly spiced up. Now, my decks are lit. Do you have a comment to read or do I pick I Just pick call? the call. Pick the call. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <'cause> <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Spice. Hi, Duchess. How are you? Do you want to stay anonymous or can I call your name? Just call my name. Eh. Mm. Eh. Well, get, are you shocked? No, I'm not shocked. You say eh, oh. Okay, so uh I think the conversation is uh, good. But I have a simple analogy that uh, I would like to share with the three of you. Go ahead. Back then in uh, high school or let's say in uh, college life, you'd set standards for a certain man to reach so that when that time comes for a lady to choose that man, they'll think they have already won the challenge. But now, as, uh, as the lady grows and uh, she's about to get married or she's looking for a partner, it seems that uh, the standards now become lowered. They get lowered to some point that the lady lacks, uh, how do I say it? Like she lacks something to do with uh, a man. Like if the if they say that a man should be tall, dark, and handsome, but they haven't found one, so it seems a bit difficult for them to ensure that they get what they desire because they need to lower their standards. And while they lower them, the men now start to raise it. It's not difficult to date an African man that ladies will put standards and also afterwards, after lowering them down, then the man will also raise standards. And the question now is, would, would there be an issue with a man lowering or increasing their standards to date an African lady? Okay, thank you for that. Phil Gona, that one we are leaving. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, um, Peter, you know, th I find it so interesting that when we talk about lowering or raising our standards, we talk about physical attributes that nobody can do anything about. Yes. So I, I can't have high standards because I want tall, dark, and handsome. Mm. I'm being vain. <laughs> and I need more time to grow up before mm. I can choose a person. So I would think our standards would be, you know, is he is he a good person? Is he kind? Is he gentle? Is he, is he yeah, healed? Yes. You know, is he healed? Because these days he come with a lot. Is he a man child? You know, is he a grown up? And mm. So those are the standards we should we should have mm. and we should keep. And, and if for, for women, you're looking for a man, is he a provider? Yeah. Can he can he protect us? Can you know th that type of thing? And you are you are looking for a a, a woman. And like is she going to be my partner can she support me will she you know be able to um can i share with her my dreams and you know aspirations like yeah. etc, etc. those are the standards really we should be looking at but we can't say i'm raising my standard at when i start off my standards are high because i'm looking for tall dark and handsome you're talking about a 16 year old who doesn't know mm -hmm. <laughs> who, who, what she wants give until she's 30 then let's have a conversation yeah. after that yeah. yeah there's been an aspect of romance it's also on our social media so 
let's close this conversation about romance. Mm. Is romance to what is romance? We can just close on that, mm -hmm. and maybe all of us can share <laughs> what <laughs> romance is. is to, yeah. Because uh, I like what is a gentleman who said romance is different to everyone, yeah. mm -hmm. and what I subscribe to might not be what Carigo subscribes mm -hmm. to. And maybe people need to start having conversations with mm -hmm. each other about as partners, mm -hmm. find out each other's languages and how you want to be treated. Yes, I, I want to look for romance in the in the dictionary. <laughs> I <laughs> can read for you. Yes, because I think that would be yeah. important. Uh, then, uh, from the it, dictionary, it, it says yeah. a feeling of excitement mm. and mystery mm. associated with love. And some for some people, it will be a thirst. Mm -hmm. Others would say it is a quality or mm -hmm. a feeling of mystery, mm -hmm. excitement, and remoteness from the everyday of life. Mm -hmm. So some will say it's being courted. Mm -hmm. Some will be, say it's an act of glamour, excitement. Mm -hmm. It might be through words. Mm -hmm. It might be physical. Now, this is mine. That's not the yeah. dictionary. Mm -hmm. Now, for me, I would think romance, uh, when we say it's different for different people, for some people, romance would be in the way you speak to each other mm -hmm. and communicate. Mm -hmm. Others, it would be actions. Others, it would be deeds. As you're talking about flowers, mm. others, it's just the way he looks at you. Mm -hmm. I'll say romance for me is thoughtfulness mm -hmm. that comes with intention. No matter how big or small it is, mm. I'm like, yo, you thought about me mm -hmm. and then you did this for me. Mm -hmm. For me, that's what I feel romance is. Yeah. Thoughtfulness with intention. Mm. In 20 seconds for you, <laughs> what is romance? Thoughtfulness as well. Yeah. Um, and then there's actions, as you said. Yeah. And then there's um, a gentleness mm. with me, that gentleness that is for me. You know me and, and you feel me. I like that. Kariba, yeah. I think she needs to come back. What do you think? She has to come back. <laughs> I'd love ah, to come back. Uh, she no, has to come back because come we have back. not spoken about five of your chapters exactly. of your book. Hey. But we tried our best. Yes. We tried our best yeah. to tackle at least. She has to and come also back. because you have a new book coming yes. in that yes. I would also love to sample. Mm -hmm. And please make sure you plug into this conversation. Thank you for coming Asante through. We appreciate. On behalf so of the adults yeah. in the room, it is good night. God bless you. Thank you.